Welcome to Things Metaverse. Good day, and I hope everybody is having a good weekend. Today, I am going to give a short intro on this NFT project called Boss Beauties. Now, I am just going to send this link to the Boss Beauty community and on my Twitter so that I get a few more people watching. Before I start my presentation, if you just give me a second, because I couldn't quite work out how to do it from OBS yet. Uh, no, this got. Um, how do I do sharing? I think I share. Apologize, I probably will edit that out. So if I share on Twitter. Join me to know more about this. Episode 40, an intro to the Boss Beauty NFTs. Um, this is Boss Beauty NFT. And I need a screenshot. Sorry guys, this is taking a bit longer than I thought, but uh, it's all going to be worth it. Okay. My live stream is starting. Okay, all right, let's start again. So, welcome to Dean's Metaverse. Today is Saturday, 13th of November, and I'm in London, UK. And I'm going to introduce you a NFT project called Boss Beauties. I have um, been always interested in the um, NFT projects around the theme of women. And in fact, the uh, Fame Lady Squad and also the World of Women are the two entering NFT project projects in the space that I have entered into. And shortly afterwards, I bought a board ape. Um, Yacht Club Ape. So I have then been quite busy learning about what board apes are up to and being quite active on Twitter. Um, and then I started to work on my own NFT project. So I didn't really have more time looking into all the different NFT projects going on. But I did notice um, what uh, Boss Beauties were doing. And uh, something caught my eye um, some time ago when they had a um, announcement around this one. So they were, uh, so they had a few collections that are going to be displayed in the New York Stock Exchange. Um, and I think somewhere I saw it on uh, either Twitter or maybe Discord when I previously followed them. I was really intrigued with it. And also I felt really proud of what they've done and also the relationship and the link that they, they have. Um, and I just felt quite strongly about it. So I have uh, had to dig more into it. Um, and every now and in between, I actually still favored a few of them that I was looking to buy. I think that time, probably a month ago or so, or maybe two months ago, I can't quite remember now, I bought this one because I was quite interested in the Japanese um, kimono thing, but also it says martial arts which fits in with the project I was working on, um, which if, uh, if you've been following my project, you would know that is the um, Chinese, cult Chinese, and Japanese cult oops, Chinese and Japanese cultural fusion and my personal identity as well. So, um, so I just find it interesting. Also some of the hair design of the Boss Beauties also has very interesting, innovative um, look of these like 
um, hair, so I really liked it. So um, that caught my eye from an art point of view, um, but also more importantly is the team behind it, which um, really um, intrigued me. So I, I bought one art. I was going to buy more, but I don't know what happened. Maybe I was making offer and then I've, I left it. So today I saw this, which also caught my eye, is um, this tweet from them which is the Marvel Entertainment. So basically, um, Marvel Entertainment is going to do um, a Twitter special space conversation uh, with Boss Beauty NFTs on the 18th of November at 2 p.m. ET, East, East, so East Standard Time in the US. Um, uh, we don't know. I, I don't know yet what they're going to be talking about. So that caught my eye. So I went into the Discord channel and read read a bit more about it. Oh, did I just put um, my live stream? Maybe I've got some people watching. Um, so here we go. So they have a very vibrant community. People are very active on a Saturday evening, my time. So maybe uh, it's afternoon in the, in the US. And there are, if I can have a look at my app, currently, 5,985 members um, in the Discord channel, 1,263 are online, so almost 6,000 uh, 6, members, not bad, not bad, considering I think they are a fairly new project. I think they released some point in September, if I'm not mistaken. And then you can see here, it says my social canvas, which apparently has got 17.8, so 17,000 people. Uh, I, I don't have access to this. I don't know how you can do that. Maybe you have to be a member of the My Social Canvas. So that's very interesting because that actually is the team. And also, I would imagine a large num number of the members um, belong to the um, Boss Beauties. So if we go to have a look at the um, Meet the Team, you will see um, Lisa is the woman that is the leader of the project but also the uh, My Social Canvas, which is actually a very important part of the whole um, project, I believe. Um, and then you've got Anthony, the creative director, Jody is campus program director, uh, Marum, lead illustrator, and Tatina, community manager, and also a, a few advisors here. So if we have a look at the beginning here, My Social Canvas, which obviously is a big, drive behind the scene which I have opened it somewhere I think here yes so that is my social canvas and it looks like it's a um, organization that's been there for quite a while and it's aiming to um, create a um, leadership space for uh, girls and young women um, to design their dreams so there are scenes like the community program that they run, mentorship that they help with, uh, so Generation Z, so it's like um, teenagers and young women, so between 10 and 24. Um, and so they have their own design of phone cases and t-shirts, and I think a lot of things that is going on with the My Social Canvas, which I think forms a large part of the Boss Beauty's NFT. So here are a few... Um, in products that they are actually available for sale on their website. Yeah, so I don't know how big this organization is, but it looks pretty solid. And if you look at Meet the Team here, you will see um, a crossover of the founder, community director, D. Marum. So you will see all these names um, and also Block and Block, which supports in terms of the technology side and also a lot of advisors and community active members are all part of the team of Boss Beauties. So that's very interesting. So that also makes the whole project very, very strong, um, as far as I can see. So if you go on um, the bossbeauty.com, which is the NFT project um, website, then you will have a better understanding of um, their art 
uh, where they have been. Why is it so big? Maybe it's because me. No, it's a hundred percent. So you can see that um, where they've been. So this I think is on Nasdaq. So let's have a look together. I think that's it. That's them. So it's pretty cool, right? All these um, project displaying on the Nasdaq big board. So you can see, I mean, advertising is one thing, but it take it shows how serious the founder teams are. Um, if they have done that, and also the link they have with New York Stock Exchange. So, um, and then all the team behind everything. So I have actually viewed this video. I'm not going to play because it's so long, but it actually literally shows all the energetic young women participating in studio. Oops. So um, yeah, it's really, really nice. So that's the global community of boss beauties and help empower young women to build a career of their dreams. So there definitely is a long-term um, ESOP and target behind it. And this is on the bossbeauties.com, not just the original Meet My Social Canvas, My Social Canvas. So it obviously has got crossover, but it's a project built on a existing member a community so that's uh, that making it really really strong and it's a brilliant idea that they came up with this um, it's lovely to see all different nationalities probably covers a lot of different countries already so um, it's very nice as a woman I you know feel very um, very very energetic and, and happy and impressed and all um, about it so these are the team behind this I think I'm sure there are more. I think they're recruiting as well at the moment. So, so this is their website. Am I looking at it rightly? Yes. Um, yeah. So, so they're gonna be expanding what they have already been building. So, so if we have a look at the roadmap just very quickly. So there are a few things they're doing. They are planning uh, free air jobs, um, benefit of masterclass book club okay and also some sort of licensing um, commercial rights thing that um, people probably some people might be interested in I think they're working on mobile app yes here so uh, they obviously have something cooking up as well and if we have a look at licensing thing because uh, I think because board ape has got so many people working on Ape derivatives and also merchandising, and I think board apes give them full rights. But sometimes you do worry about, you know, what if people does something damaging, you know. But usually you don't because you want to increase your NFT price. But then, I think here, they gave a general rights if you want to create something minimum. I think with commercial um, elements in it as well. However, if you are creating something bigger that is gonna generate more than fifty thousand US dollar per annum. Then uh, there's um, a conversation you need to have with the team. So that's that makes sense. Um, and then there's a license agreement as well to define what can be done and what is what intellectual property ownership. So it's quite interesting how they um, actually thought through all this. They obviously. Um, a bit of an expert in this field already and they obviously have quite a long-term view in terms of how they want to uh, use utilize their creation as well as how they work with people who own that and who might have ideas to use their NFT as well so this is actually quite good and positive so you can actually learn what's uh, what's being um, agreed uh, under this page and the license page so that's pretty good to me um so yeah so that's the project and if we go on OpenSea and oh uh, actually I'm gonna show you the artist uh Maroon Maroon have I pronounced it correctly so um she's artist I think based in France and she's so yeah she's been work worked with um all these projects as a designer graphic designer and artist so a lot of projects that she's worked on 
interesting. Which post a Chinese book. Fair, um, and then if you have a look at her portfolio, that's her style, which is uh, not dissimilar to the Boss Beauty's art. So illustrating quite stylish in her way. If you like it, then it's definitely something um, you could collect as a simple appreciation of the art. So uh, yeah, it's always nice to look at art. And women's art, um, and also art on women, about women, are always really interesting to look at, visualize. Like, it's really interesting to me. Oh, what's this? Collab restaurant. Okay. I really like that one. So, yeah. Um, just some beautiful art. Oh, is this a man? <laughs> Okay, so that's the artist's work. So you can see solid art, very stylish. Um, so that's the artist. And then, oops. And that's where um, on OpenSea you can purchase or have a, a overview of all the art. So just make sure you go on the correct one. Boss Beauties with the blue tick here, verified collection, um, and uh, the floor price is increasing. 4.2k owners, that's, uh, that's pretty good, it's, it's getting there. I'm sure it will crack uh, down to 5,000 in no time. In particular, their announcement with the uh, Marvel on the 18th, which is next Thursday. Is it the 13th today? Yes. So, yeah, so it's they're definitely like expanding. So it's uh, very positive. Oh, I'm clicking that. So yeah, um, I really like like one one of the very first um, art that caught my eye was actually one of the hairstyle that I really liked. Whilst I was looking at that martial Japanese kimono top, I saw one of these. I was like, I really like that. I think I was yeah, I was almost I almost bought that one, but I don't know. I think last one was 0.1a. I'm sure it was more expensive, but um. I don't know, I, I think I ended up with the other one. I like quite a few of them, but I really like this. <laughs> it's just it's just really appealed to me. As you can see, because of my own project, I've got this wrong thing as well. I think we're all very intrigued. I, I love wrong things. I don't know <laughs> what you are, but it's like, for me, like I like wrong things, as you can see. And this is wrong, and it's wrong, and everything's wrong. <laughs> um, but also there is a, a heart shape which I personally also really like. Uh, where is it? Let me just quickly show you before we wrap up. Um, I'm sure you have all, like everybody has their own taste, but um, am I looking at the correct one? Police Discord Princess. It's a heart or something, right? Oh, maybe I've just missed it. Where is it? Where are we? No, not heart, not that heart. Heart, yeah, there we go. Yeah, I also like that hair. <laughs> this is fine, it's really uh, visually pleasing. It's just, it's just nice to look at. But then there are a lot more. I think the professional um, is, is quite an important element here from as far as I can see. So, um, so where is the profession? Where are we? Close. Yeah, it also says close, but it's more like profession. So we've got artist. I was looking at buying an artist as well. It's because I'm, you know, working on some art and a few projects myself. Although I think I'm a bit multidisciplined rather than just a pure artist. Um, but that's artist. And then you've got all these influencer, personal trainer, actor. It's just really like diverse. And so I think that is definitely a big play for them, scientists. So everybody can find their own, like, avatar in the metaverse. And these are probably all, like, I don't know, are they, like, also designed by those um, social canvas members? Or I don't know how uh, 
how they will create it. It'll be interesting to know, actually. Maybe there's somewhere it would be nice to know, actually, how these are created and who are these ideas, you know, who are these people behind these ideas. Like, I think there's Olympia. I think there's someone, maybe a celebrity bought it, bought one of those. Or obviously, president. It's also something quite... It's unique. So the price of president is... Oh! Ooh, yeah, price has gone up. So that's really, really cool. Um, what else? I am uh, gonna actually... So I think that's everything for Boss Beauties. And this is their Discord channel. Just make sure you drop in and have a look. They're a really vibrant group of people. I really like them. So I'll try to spend more time in, uh, in this as well because I've just got so many projects I'm following. And uh, yeah, just talk to them and look at how much they are appreciated by people, by the community. Especially when the Marvel Entertainment was announced, I think there were loads of replies. I saw a few Ape members. Oh, this is my reply, so I said that's bullish. And then look at this Ape, Dim Sum Maxi. <laughs> it's got so many. <laughs> that's mad. I think he probably originally minted it. I wish I minted. But September, I was really busy with my work, so with drawing my own thing, I, I think I I missed the mint. Look at this. This person probably mint as well. But I think, I mean, those collectors are lucky in a way. I think September and October, the floor price has been quite flat for a while. So if people really love those, they, sh they should have picked up, like, look at the Superwoman, <laughs> because Marvel... <laughs> It's really interesting what's going to happen um, during conversation next week. Really interesting to know. So look at these people showing their art, show, um, shows their... Um, I think the purple scheme is also really rare. But I don't know how uh, big of a play they're going to do on the uh, different skin tones. Hey, this is my martial arts thing. Actually, mine is not dissimilar to this one. <laughs> I wish I bought the hair as well. It's now the price has gone up. And I'm just trying to be really disciplined on my portfolio because I spend so much on NFTs. It's just really... Um, huh, look at this. It's really, really good. Really bullish. Yeah, I can, you know, I can stay forever looking at all these lovely pictures. I think... Um, I will feature another woman's project at some point, but they're releasing at the end of November. It's just like... It, aren't they just beautiful to just look at? I mean, compared to some of the NFTs, oh, just, you know, I don't want to criticize on any art. I mean, people have different tastes, but you know what I mean. It's like some of the art is just <laughs> unbearable to look at, but this is like gorgeous. And I really love the spirit, and that's where it caught my eye. Look at this. I mean, I don't know um, the team enough, but I just can see like, Lisa probably would have worked on this social cameras for years, encouraging all the young women, and probably a lot of difficulties that she had to come across with, to you know, to make her way, um, and probably a lot of things that are still facing for the future. I mean, it's nice to have so many people supporting her, but also supporting each other. So I, I do feel quite strongly about it, and that's you know, partly partly why I'm here. So that's about the boss beauty. I think I've talked probably long enough. I usually talk too much. <laughs> so sorry about that. I'm just really liking all these things. So just a quick promo for my, my work because I'm actually going to make an announcement tonight on my giveaway. So I have um, three NFT giveaway to those people who can sign up on my YouTube channel because I still, I think, quite a small group um, a small sign up on my YouTube channel and I'm trying to create content every day in the crypto space. Oh, I've got two more. Thank you. So, um, yeah, so that's my fourth, 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 40s episodes now and I started to learn all different technology in terms of how I can do screen, live streaming uh, from my screen and also making a little video editing myself. So last weekend there were two NFT London events so I put a few things together very quickly. So a bit scruffy, not very detailed, but I tried editing and putting music on. So I tried to record my 
thinking on a daily basis um, in the crypto, DeFi, you know, coins and NFT space. So um, it's like a journey, but also my like study and research on a lot of projects. I think I'm pretty sensible in terms of my portfolio. Um, if you are interested in crypto portfolio, then you can have a look at my some of my earlier videos, but they are like a bit boring because I was talking at camera for a lot and I just talk too much. I think, look at these, this is, just looks really boring. But if you, if there, I mean, these projects are actually really valuable projects. If you don't know enough about DeFi, then you should get to know it. You, um, you don't want to lose out on those. It's just really, uh, really great. I think the space overall in the crypto um, DeFi and NFT. I, I just think it's it's a great time for us to go in, learn it, um, DCA a few things in the bear market and the next bull market. I think projects like Boss Beauties will just, you know, go to the moon. Um, but again, it's not about pricing to me. It's about supporting them. I bought I bought this to support them because um, cause I, I feel it. And that's, I mean, people will have their feel, different feelings supporting things. Um, but that's me. So anyway, if you've uh, just subscribed to my channel, you might want to just take a screenshot and reply here. So um, maybe you know, in an hour's time, I will make announcement on winner, and I will give I give out three of my NFTs from my Are You From Japan series. Actually, I like tried to tell stories. So there's stories intro from the project intro, but also each image. Um, I have also hide some secret content so if you are lucky to get the freebies or buy it you will be able to reveal um, the unlockable content so i just want to make it a bit more interesting um, i'm currently only working on this on my own but i actually have a team behind me that we are going to put up together to register company and we're going to do a lot more in the future but you know i'm, I'm not like creating a huge roadmap to to show off i just want to build my little community people who I can share you know, stories and experience and stuff together to, um, to, to go through this journey because I'm going to be in the crypto for a long time because I've been here since 2017 and I see this space growing, technology growing and also you know all these beautiful art coming up and all the mainstream um, creative organizations uh, are joining and I just I'm just gonna be here so I think for the next four or five years hopefully through my um, Twitter like I've got I think so over just over 3,000 followers and YouTube channel um, and art I'm working on and also I have a full-time job as well working in a very uh, opposite uh, industry but actually connecting with a lot of different people from both public sector and private sector um, and I'm actually working on a few things for um, some of the public sector people who want to enter into the NFT market so I, I just think it's wonderful space and wonderful time for, for me to be in and I just yeah really wish um, I'll make a lot of friends um, to, to be here so that's, that's enough of me trying to talk and uh, yeah, do take a screenshot and reply here so you can get um, a chance to get a freebie. I just want to share more stories to people. It's not about making money. I mean, <laughs> the transaction fee is more than 1.1 ETH now. It's just ridiculous. Um, but um, yeah, also you can give me some feedback on my work. I would be really appreciated. So that's all about today. So we talked about the Boss Beauty NFTs and the wonderful team behind it. And I hope you will have a look and, uh, um, you know, weep the floor when, when it's still cheap. <laughs> Don't regret after next Thursday. Okay. Um, thank you very much for watching me today. Um, please like and subscribe and I will see you tomorrow.